Today I want to show you another way to do long multiplication. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to take a problem. Let's do 3,000... 3,432 times 43. I'm going to make a dot on this paper to start our multiplication. We're going to make a dot right here. And across the bottom here, I'm going to count out enough uh, squares to stand for my multiplicand. So we had two units, so I'll count over two and put a dot here. We have three tens, so one, two, three, and put a dot here. We have four hundreds, one, two, three, four, put a dot here. And we have three thousands, one, two, three. Now I'll do the same for the multiplier just along this side. So we have one, two, three units. And we have one, two, three, four tens. And then I want to make a rectangle out of this. So I'll put a dot here so that I can draw a clear rectangle. And then I also want to draw along all the lines uh, for the multiplicand and multiplier. So we'll make a number of other shapes here. Okay. Let's just make sure I've got two units. I've got 30 for three tens, 400 and 3,000 times 43. All right, so in this multiplication, two times three, what does that equal? That's six, and that's units. So let's color that rectangle green. Now we have, this multiplication is 30 times three. Tens times units gives us 10. So that's 30, that's gonna be 90. That's a tens multiplication. Let's color this one in blue. Now I have 400 times three. Hundreds times units gives us hundreds. So we've got 1200. And let's color that one red. Then we have 3,000 times 3, which equals 9,000. And we're in the thousands, so that'll be a green square. All right, we've done our units multiplications. Now let's do our tens multiplication. So, 2 times 40 equals 80. We're going to have that a blue one for tens. Here we have 30 times 40. We know tens times tens gives us hundreds, so it's three times four is 12, so we'll have 12 
600. And that'll be a red rectangle. And then 400 times 40, hundreds times tens, hundreds times tens gives us thousands. So we're going to have 16,000. We'll do green for our thousands. And our last multiplication, 3,000 times 40. Thousands times tens gives us ten thousands. And so we've got 12 ten thousands, 120,000. Now, to find our final answer, we can add up all these multiplications that we've done. So we could add 120,000 plus 16,000, 1,280 plus 9,000, plus 1,200 plus 90 plus 6. Let's do that addition. So 3,432 times 43 gives us 147,576. And we've got our own sort of geometric representation of this exact problem. Let's try another one.